No, he's actually trying to defend himself. Hero, stop disturbing Scar! Suddenly, a huge grizzly bear charged at me. <gasps> then what happened? I wrestled the bear like this. <clears throat> Soon, the bear got tired and ran away. You wrestled a bear? That's so awesome. <laughs> but if you encounter a big grizzly bear, lay on your stomach and keep as still as possible until it goes away. Okay, Ranger Rocky, can you tell us another cool story? Maybe next time, Leo. I've got wildlife patrol duty right now. Oh, I guess we'll see you around, Ranger Rocky. Goodbye, Junior Rangers. Goodbye, Ranger Rocky. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. Look at these two giant lizards hugging each other. Aw. Um, I don't think they're actually hugging. But let's look up more information about those lizards on the computer. Great idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. I'll wait on the line. Okay, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> let's see. They're Malayan water monitors. They can be found in forests, mangrove swamps, and even man-made canals in urban areas. Malayan water monitors are carnivorous, but they eat a wide variety of food types. They use their long, forked tongues to detect scents of prey. The lizards Zari found are not hugging each other. They're two males wrestling to see who's more powerful. Oh, no! We need to stop them from hurting each other. We'll come over right away, Zari. Please, hurry! Ranger out! Ranger out! Stop wrestling! Please! Hi, Zari. Don't get too close to them. Hi, Leo. Telling Scar and Spotty to stop fighting isn't working. Scar and Spotty? That's Scar and that's Spotty. <gasps> oh, no! Scar is pushing Spotty down! Ow! Poor Spotty. I hope he's okay. Scar is such a big bully. I hope he's not going to pick a fight with another animal. I think Scar is looking for food. Look, he's sniffing around with his tongue. <laughs> oh, a squirrel. No, Scar. Look over here instead. <laughs> Good boy, Hero. A water monitor won't be able to climb the tree. I'm sure they only move well in water. Don't assume too quickly, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Don't worry, Junior Rangers. The squirrel moves too fast to get caught by Scar. Malayan water monitors are very good swimmers. Their tails are longer than their bodies, which helps them steer in the water. These water monitors can sometimes be found resting in trees. When climbing trees, they use their powerful legs and sharp claws, and their long tails help to provide balance. <gasps> Is Scar attacking Hero? No, he's actually trying to defend himself. Hero, stop disturbing Scar! What is it, Hero? <gasps> Scar is caught in the fishing net. No, that's Spotty. We need to save him. Let's get our wetsuits and dive in. Not so fast. That's too dangerous. You won't be able to see well and his tail could injure you. Then we should lift Spotty out of the water first. But how do we do that without getting too close? I know. Katie, Hero, follow me. Zari, you stay here with Ranger Rocky and keep an eye on Spotty. You got it, Leo. Watch out below. Move this way. Uh, no, the other way. It's still not hooking onto the net. Katie, take over. I'll go down and attach the hook to the fishing net. Get back in the vehicle, Leo. Let me do it. Wow! Awesome! 
Move down a little more. That's it. And done. Lift him up, Junior Rangers. You got it, Ranger Rock. There you go. Free at last. Goodbye, Spotty. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to free Spotty from the fishing net. Hey, Leo. I challenge you to an arm wrestling match. What? You want to arm wrestle with me? Afraid you'll lose? Of course not. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Now, hero. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I win. Hey, no fair. I want a rematch. Hero can't help you this time. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Be careful, Leo. There, all done. Huh? Why did it fly away? Is there something wrong with our birdhouse? I thought birds like birdhouses. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the Komodo National Park, and I found the most amazing thing ever. What did you find, Farah? An egg. Huh? An egg? Here's a photo of it. Do you know which bird laid the egg? Hmm. It looks like a chicken egg. But I compared it with photos in my handbook, and the egg I found is different. It's bigger than a chicken egg. How exciting! I'm sure we can find out more on the computer. Let's see what type of bird laid the egg. That's not a bird at all. It's the egg of a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Farah found a dragon egg? It's not really a dragon, Leo. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world. They can be found on the many islands in Komodo National Park in Indonesia. Komodo dragons lay about 30 eggs in their nests. But I only found one egg. And it was on the ground with no nest in sight. Oh, no. Was the egg separated from its nest? <gasps> We have to return it. Don't worry, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right, let's return the Komodo dragon's egg to its nest. It'll be exciting to visit an island full of dragons. Hi, Farah. Hi, Farah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Huh? Uh-oh, something's happening. <gasps> it hatched. Aw, it's so cute. Hello, baby Komodo dragon. I'm sure its mother will be looking for it. We have to find its nest quick. Huh? What's wrong, hero? Whoa, a dragon. A Komodo dragon. Is that its mother? Let's take the baby over to her. Stop. I would not do that if I were you. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. My, my, that is one cute baby lizard. Why did you stop me from returning the baby Komodo dragon, Ranger Rocky? We do not know for sure if that adult Komodo dragon is its mom. Besides, Komodo dragons do not take care of their young. In fact, Adult Komodo dragons are often a danger to young Komodo dragons. Adult Komodo dragons are also venomous. You should be careful not to get bitten. If you do, you should see a doctor and get medical attention right away. It looks like it's up to us to find a home for the baby Komodo dragon. Let's take it away before the adult sees us. <sighs> Too late! Now there were three of them, and they're coming right for us! Oh, no! Hurry, Junior Rangers. Take the baby and go. I'll distract them. Got it, Ranger Rocky. Easy. Easy. This must be Pink Beach. It says here that the pink color comes from small bits of broken pink and red coral. 
When mixed with the white sand, the beach looks pink. It's really beautiful here. But is it the right place for the baby Komodo dragon? It seems safe and warm enough, but I don't think there's anything for it to eat. We'll have to find a better spot then. At least Hero's having fun with our new friend. <laughs> Where's the baby Komodo dragon? I'll find it. Where is it? Aha, found it. It's over there. Komodo dragons are strong swimmers. They can even swim between the different islands in the park. I guess there's nothing to worry about. The baby Komodo dragon can swim back to us. But I don't think the baby is very good at swimming yet. Huh? What's that? Oh no, not another one. Hero, you save the baby. I'll distract the big one. Jetpack, activate. Wait, it's too dangerous. Be careful, you two. Hey, big guy, look over here. We got them, Leo. That was close. That was a very dangerous thing to do, Leo. According to our Junior Rangers pledge, I will wait for assistance from a fellow ranger when there's danger. Well, my fellow ranger, Hero was assisting me. <laughs> I'm just glad everyone is all right. Now we just need to find a safe place for our little friend here. I found this place while scouting the island. There are plenty of trees around and it's really peaceful here. Best of all, there are insects in the trees. What do you think, Hero? Will this be a good place for our new friend? <laughs> the baby Komodo dragon seems to like the tree. <laughs> I think our new friend will be very happy here. We did it! We brought the baby Komodo dragon to safety! What are you doing, Peo? I'm looking for the tortoises! <laughs> he won't find any under there! Galapagos tortoises are huge! Really? How big can a tortoise be? Oh! <laughs> that big! Whoa! It's huge! It looks like you found one, Peyo. Let's find out for sure. I've just sent you a photo, Katie. Can you check it out? I'm already on it. Let's see. It's indeed a Galapagos tortoise. They are the world's largest tortoises and can weigh more than a fridge. Their shells are not solid and are made up of honeycomb structures that hold small air chambers. This makes the shell lighter and easier for the tortoise to carry. The shell also protects it from predators. Galapagos tortoises can live to about a hundred years. Whoa, a hundred years? <sighs> what was that? <laughs> Hero! Look happy either. I think they're fighting. Do you think they're fighting over those fruits? Hmm. A green apple? Stop! What is it? What's wrong? Don't touch that! Step away from the fruit! That's the fruit of the manchineel tree, the most dangerous tree in the world! All parts of it are poisonous! Phew! That was close. Thanks, Peo. <gasps> are they harmful to tortoises? Nope. Galapagos tortoises actually eat those poisonous apples. <sighs> Eeks! What can we do to stop them from fighting? I've got an idea. Ready, Hero? 
Let's lure them away from each other. <laughs> careful not to touch the fruit, guys. Please be extra careful. Don't worry, we'll be careful. <laughs> All right, hero, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Over here, tortoise. It's working. <laughs> Slow and steady. Well done, buddy. Here you go. Huh? Hero, stop teasing it. Just give it the fruit. Mm. Ah, the tortoise! Mm. Oh no! Hero! Mm. Hang in there, buddy. Over here, guys. We have to flip it back on its feet. On the count of three, let's flip it together. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> One, two, three. Flip it over! Uh, yeah. uh, Almost! Uh, 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 it's so heavy. Oh, hi, Ranger Rocky. How's it going over there, Leo? Oh, found any Galapagos tortoises yet? Yes, we have, but one of them flipped over on its shell. Oh dear, that sounds like a tricky situation. Galapagos tortoises have two main shell shapes, domed and saddleback. Some are shaped in between the two extremes. Domed tortoises have rounder shells and shorter necks. Saddleback tortoises have flatter shells with a raised neck opening resembling a saddle, as well as longer necks and limbs. Do you need my help, Junior Rangers? Nope. We got this, Ranger Rocky. We'll figure it out on our own. All right. I better get back to counting tortoises then. Keep me posted and good luck. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hang in there, buddy. We'll flip you over in no time. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Everyone grab the rope. Ready? Ready! Ready! This is going to work for sure! Three, two, one, pull! Uh, almost there! Uh, Leo! The rope! Uh, Jetpack activate! Leave it to me! Ranger Rocky, we did it! We flipped the tortoise back on its feet. And we did it all by ourselves. Amazing work, Junior Rangers. Well done. No more fighting. It's time to settle this once and for all. May the best tortoise win. Ready, set, go! Come on, tortoises. Juicy, non-poisonous apples await you. Go, 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 go! go! Go, go, go! Mission accomplished! Coming right at you, Katie! I got it! <gasps> Katie, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is. The African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. 
And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no. Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! He is dropped. Hang on. We'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> he is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers, let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's gonna take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes. All right. We did it. Turn that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Whoa there. Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? We are here. Wow. Where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm. I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh! It's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. 
They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long, sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. <gasps> oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. for you. Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you Rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue communion? Nope, but it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. 
you go. Home, sweet home. They're friends now. No more fighting. You can do this, Pello. Just a little more. Whoa! Phew. Got it. Now to get down from here. Hmm. You know, Pico, some of these vines look and feel kind of funny. See? This one almost looks like a... <gasps> snake! And a big one, too! I've got to get down! Ranger Leo speaking! Huh? Pico, is that you? Where's Peo? What's going on, Leo? I'm not sure, Katie. It's Pico! Pico? Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like somebody's talking. Huh? Something's not right. Send me the video, Leo. I'll see if I can isolate the voice and amplify its volume. Sure thing, Katie. And... Done! Pico, tell them that I'm stuck in a tree. And there's a big green snake right in front of me. I can't get down. Uh-oh. If we zoom in and unblur it... <gasps> Peo! Green snake. Hmm, they're not that big. Can we look at the video again? Some of the vines look a little funny. Just have to do a quick scan. <gasps> a green anaconda? Oh, no! Peo is stuck in a tree with an anaconda. We've got to get him down quick. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Let's see. The green anaconda is the world's largest snake. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze them. With their stretchy jaws, anacondas open their mouths wide to swallow their prey whole. Once they've eaten a big meal, they can go for weeks or months without food. Oh boy, we'd better hurry. Look, it's Peo's bag. Pico! Where's Peo? Is he okay? Over here! I'm over here! Whoa, it's huge. Yeet. Don't worry, Peo. We'll get you down. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. Here you go, Peo. Thanks, Leo. Now grab hold of us. Oh, no! Never mind me. Just take this somewhere safe. We mustn't let anything happen to the flower. <gasps> oh, no! Don't worry, Peo. I'll get it. And I'll find a way to get you down. We leave no rangers behind. Huh? Oh! Well, that was easy. Where's it going? Oh, no! Guys! No! Not the bug! Now we'll never get the flower back! Hang on, Pale. Let's get you down first. Huh? Pico! No! You'll get hurt! <laughs> no, Hero! Hero! The anaconda's way too strong for them. Katie, help me grab its tail. Stop right there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Back away from the tail. What you're about to do is very dangerous. Tangling with an anaconda is a dangerous thing to do. Anacondas are big and strong, but they usually only attack humans when they feel threatened. If you mess around with its tail, it might see that as a threat. Green anacondas may move slowly on land, but they're great in water. They're fast swimmers, and because their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads, they can breathe and see even when most of their body is underwater. What do we do then, Ranger Rocky? We have to get my bag. No worries, Peo. I'll take it from here. Leave this to the experts, children. <laughs> What's he going to do? I have no idea, but I'm sure Ranger Rocky has an awesome plan. Now, now. I don't want any trouble, but I'm going to need that bag. Oh, no, you don't. Calm down now. <gasps> Ranger Rocky! <laughs> oh, it's hugging him! Now, it's constricting him! 
Are you sure you don't need us to do anything, Ranger Rocky? Nope. I have it all under control. Aha! Catch! My bug! Phew, it's all right. It's getting kind of squeezy. Time to get out of here. Be back in a second, Junior Rangers. Oh, Ranger Rocky! Oh, no! Ranger Rocky! Ah! Ah! Ranger Rocky, you're okay. I sure am. That was amazing. But weren't you scared of the anaconda, Ranger Rocky? It's huge! There was no need to be scared. Anacondas are not out to hurt people. The anaconda was just defending itself. Ranger Rocky is right. We're the ones who entered its home. Well, I've learned my lesson. Never approach or provoke an anaconda when you see one. Always check a tree before you climb it. You never know what's living in there. <laughs> huh? An animal is in trouble. We'd better check it out. It's a baby rhino. It is stuck. And so is Hero. Hang on. What are you doing in there? Were you trying to save the baby rhinoceros on your own? <laughs> Hang tight, little buddy. We didn't forget about you. We'll get you out. Right behind you, Leo. Let's see. Oh, the baby rhino is a southern white rhinoceros. The white rhinoceros is one of five species of rhinos in the world. Also known as the square-lipped rhino, white rhinos have a square upper lip. Rhinos like to wallow in muddy pools to cool off. The mud acts as a natural sunblock and also helps to protect them from bugs. All right, we can do this. Three, two, one, now! Uh, uh, wow! Uh, <laughs> it is okay. We're not strong enough. Hey, wait a minute. All we need is a little more help. We will get you at in no time. Just have to connect this. Ah. 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 Whoa, what's that? Stand back, Jane. It's... Ah. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you guys doing here? We're trying to help this little rhino out of a muddy situation. Oh, hey there, little buddy. Rhinoceros are known for their giant horns that grow from their snouts, using them to attack when they feel threatened. They have the ability to charge and crush, making them very dangerous animals. Rhino babies have very close bonds with their mothers. They depend on them for food and protection. Rhino moms are very protective of their babies. But where is his mom? I'll go look for her while you rangers continue to help the baby rhino. Got it, Ranger Rocky. Don't worry, we'll get you out of there. What is wrong? Huh? Their rhino's mom is here. Calm down! We're just trying to help your baby! Jane! Hurry! <gasps> She's stuck! Take the wheel, Katie. Drive us closer to Jane and don't stop! Got it! Gotcha! Go, go, go! Hang on! Whoa! Whoa! Leo! Leo! Whoa! Oh no, you don't! Easy now. What? 
Wait! <gasps> Hold on, Leo. We've got your back. Whoa! Leo! Oh, no! Whoa! Hang on, Leo! Just use your jetpack, Leo. Oh, right. Jetpack. She could be in danger. Zumi? <laughs> All right! Zumi's got her attention. Good job, Zumi. Zumi is friendly to all animals. Jane, you and Zumi stay here to keep the mother distracted. Katie and I will go rescue the baby rhino. Okay, leave it to us. There, there. I am your friend. We are here to help you and your baby. They've got this. Be careful, Jane. Let's go. Ready. Okay. Hang on, little fella. You'll be free in no time. It's working! Uh-oh, not again! <gasps> Look, it's Jane and Zumi! It is okay. She is our friend now. Phew. Great work, Rangers! Don't worry, buddy. We didn't forget about you. Let's do this, Katie. Okay, Leo. Slowly now. Let me just remove this. There you go. Yay! Yay! I did it! I sense an aftershock. Huh? An aftershock? Oh, no! An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that happens after a large one. Whoa! Stay away from the trees, rangers. We must look for an open area. Huh? It is just a small one. There should be no more. Phew! I hope not. But we'd better go check on the animals. The mountain gorillas live nearby. We can start with them. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in forests high up in the mountains. They tend to live in large communities called troops. In fact, there can be as many as 30 gorillas living together. Mountain gorillas are led by the strongest silverback of the group. Silverbacks are male gorillas with a patch of silver hair on their backs. A silverback can be as tall as an adult male. Now let's go find the mountain gorillas. Do you need a lift, Jane? No need, Leo. See you guys there. Wait for us! They're nearby. Wow! wow mountain gorillas! They're so calm. It's as if the earthquake didn't happen. I wonder why. Wait a second. That's Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing with the mountain gorillas, Ranger Rocky? Well, I was having a stroll in the forest when the earthquake occurred. There was a huge commotion. It was chaotic. The mountain gorillas were panicking. But strangely, they calmed down once I got there. And now they follow me wherever I go. It seems the silverback leader is missing. So I'm the new leader of the troop. Huh? huh? What? It's understandable. What does their leader do, Ranger Rocky? The silverback leader is responsible for the protection of the troop. It's also his responsibility to search for new feeding grounds and lead his troop there. The leader makes all the decisions. Where their home should be, when to eat, and even when to sleep. 
We have to look for the missing silverback. Where did you find the gorillas? At a rocky valley down south. Then let's head there to see if we can find anything. Come on, Junior Rangers. Good idea, Leo. I'll wait here and continue to protect the troop. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Over here, Leo. I found something. Oh, no. The earthquake must have caused this. Listen. A mountain gorilla! It's coming from the other side! Wait here, Jane. We'll see what's over there. Jetpack, Jet pack, activate! activate. <gasps> we found him! The earthquake must have separated the silverback leader from his troop. He's trapped! <clears throat> so what should we do now? We'll have to clear the rocks and lead him back to the others. But how? Hmm. Aha! If we pull this log out, everything should come tumbling down. Got it, Katie. Thanks, Jane. Ready, Leo? Ready. The leader is a safe distance away. All right, then. Here we go. Great job, Rangers! Huh? I was wrong. There's another one. Aftershock! Quick, let's get out of here! Junior Rangers, did you manage to find the Silverback Leader? We sure did. Stay on Platypus One, Junior Rangers. Huh? huh? What's going on? The leader is unhappy that Ranger Rocky took over. <gasps> it's a standoff! He is showing respect to the silverback. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Are you all right? I'm just fine, Leo. Good job, Junior Rangers. You've reunited the troop. Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished. Do you see the blue kingfisher? I can't. See! Oh, I see something! Bye-bye, <gasps> Birdie. Oh man. Maybe next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? A meerkat. Huh? A meerkat is up on my head, Leo. Zumi and I found a family of meerkats looking for a new home. A family of meerkats? How many of them are there? A few. Do you know where we should take them? I think that's a question for our computer. To the treehouse? Race you there! Let's see. Meerkats. Here we go. Meerkats live in groups called mobs. They can be found in the deserts and grasslands of Africa. A mob of meerkats lives together in underground burrows. Living underground keeps them cool and safe from other animals. Everyone in the mob has a job to do. Some meerkats look for food, some babysit, while some are sentries. Sentries stand in high places and look out for danger. When they sense danger approaching, they warn the rest with an alarm call. The mob will then run and hide in their burrows. So, the meerkats on top of your heads must be the sentries. 
I guess they wanted a better view. But they cannot stay on top of my head forever. We need to help the meerkats find a new place for their burrows. Yes, we do. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go help the meerkats find a new home. Huh? Was that an alarm call? Hi, Jane. Oh, no. What's wrong? They are afraid of you and Katie. The sentry sounded an alarm. The meerkats think we're a danger to them. Don't be scared. We're here to help. Huh? What are they digging at? They are trying to get to their old home. But it doesn't look anything like an underground burrow. What happened? Hmm. The sand. It is damp. There was a flood. Ah, oh, the burrow was destroyed. Poor little meerkats. It's no wonder they're looking for a new home. Come on, Junior Rangers. It's up to us to help them. Let us help you find the perfect new home. I think they like the idea. They should do. All right. Hop on, everyone. Let's roll. Hero? Ow! Oh, it looks like we're full. But I'm sure we can find some space for you and Zumi. Do not worry, Katie. We will follow on foot. All right. Then away we go. It is you two again. Come now. Hang tight. This is perfect. There are trees for them to look out from, plenty of sand, and lots of open space for them to build their burrows. And look, neighbors. Aw, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Uh-oh. We have to stop them. Huh? What's that? Is it a hawk? Is it an eagle? No, it is Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! And not a moment too soon. You've got to get those meerkats out of here. Meerkats aren't neighborly animals. They're territorial. Territorial? That means they don't like other meerkats that are not in their mob coming into their space. What you just saw was a meerkat war dance. By fluffing out their fur and raising their tails, they're trying to make themselves look bigger and scarier than they really are to chase other meerkats away from their home. Oh no! They're at it again! Meerkat sentries have a special call to warn the others of danger, right? Uh-huh. I know a way to stop them. Katie, on my command, I need you to play the meerkat alarm call on your tablet. The rest of us will grab our meerkats and get into Platypus One quick. Their alarm call? <gasps> oh, I get it. Sure thing. We're going to make them forget all about the fight. Rangers, are you ready? Ready when you are, Leo. All right. Katie, hit it. It is working! The meerkats are distracted by the call. Now's our chance to get them out of here. Quick, grab as many meerkats as you can. You're coming with me. We have to go now, meerkats. Pardon me. Oops, sorry. Ugh, this is uncomfortable. And that's everyone. Then let's get out of here. If you're looking for a new home for the meerkats, I know a place. So, what do you think? There's a lot of space for you to build burrows. And I don't see other meerkats around. There is also a tree for you, Sentry. I think they're finally home. Mission accomplished. 
Look over there, Pico! A guava tree! Yay! Finally! Oh, man! All these guava fruits have been beaten into! Oh! There's one perfect fruit left! Huh? No! Pico, stop! Pico! You ate the guava! Why did you do that? I know you're hungry, but I said I need it for my herbal mixture! Huh? What do you mean I don't care about you? What? That's not true! I don't want to talk to you anymore! Huh? Pico? Where are you? Oh no! Please come back, Pico! I'm sorry! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Pale! What's up? I was angry at Pico for eating my waba, and I told him that I didn't want to talk to him anymore. Then he flew away, but I didn't mean it. Please, help me get him back. Oh no! That sounds bad. Don't worry, Pale. We'll find Pico. Since Pico is a toucan, let's start by learning more about toucans to find out where Pico went. Did you find anything about toucans to help us find Pico? Let's see. Pico is a toco toucan. Both male and female toucans have large, colorful bills. But young toco toucans, like Pico, do not have a large bill at birth. It grows as they develop and does not become full size for several months. A toucan's bill weighs lighter than it looks. It's made of the same protein as fingernails. A toucan's bill and our fingernails are made of the same stuff? Cool. Yeah, and their bills have different uses. Toco toucans distribute heat away from their body by adjusting blood flow to their bill. It helps keep them cool. Fruits are a toucan's main source of food. They use their bills to help them peel fruits. Oh, so toucans love fruits, huh? Maybe Pico left to search for more guavas to eat. Let's go find him. Hey, Peo, Pico should be around here somewhere. There are lots of guava trees and toucans love to eat fruits. I know, Leo, but he's not here. It seems like just yesterday when I found Pico as an abandoned egg, he was so small. Huh? Wow! Ah! It's raining guavas! <laughs> Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! What are you doing in the guava tree, Ranger Rocky? I'm collecting guavas for a wildlife research project. Why do you look so sad, Peo? And where's Pico? He left, Ranger Rocky. I was mean to him, so he probably went looking for his Tukan family instead. I'm never going to see him again. Don't give up, Peo. Ranger Rocky, can you tell us where we might find Pico? Certainly, Junior Rangers. You'll be able to find several Toko toucans living together in a single hollow of a tree. They nest in these tree cavities, some of which are created and abandoned by other birds such as woodpeckers. Toko toucans usually travel among the trees by hopping. They're not very good at flying. If they do fly, they flap their wings vigorously and glide, traveling only short distances. Perhaps this adult toucan can lead you to Pico. I've got to get these guavas back to the research center. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! See ya! Bye-bye! <laughs> the adult Toko Toucan is hopping away! Then let's follow it! <laughs> Don't worry, Peo. We'll find Pico in no time. I hope so. I miss him so much. Ever since I found him as an abandoned egg, we have spent every moment together. There's a tree full of Toko Toucans over there! Look! Oh, oh, I see him! I see my Pico! Hi, Pico! I'm very sorry for being mean to you. Please, forgive me. No, Pico! Please! I'm sorry! Oh, dear. I think it's very clear Pico doesn't want me anymore. 
Enjoy yourself with your real family, Pico. I hope to see you again someday. Goodbye. Let's go home. Okay, Peo. What's happening? It sounds like the two cans are in trouble. Let's go back and help them. Oh no, I hope Pico's okay. <laughs> for a solution. There's no time, Katie. I'll just fly up and try to rescue Pico. Jetpack, activate. Aha! A high-pitched screech might chase the hawk away. Try it, Katie! Ah! Whoa! I can't get to Pico. Turn it off, Katie. <gasps> Sorry, Leo. Uh, uh, I still can't get to Pico. Like icon.